I got a I got a good question for all of you. Mainly for Republicans. You know, that's what uh, mainly Republicans cuz they're on the spotlight. What do you really want? What do you want? Is everything is tribalistic. Whose side? Whose side? Even in your own camp, just like Democrats all in the same camp of whose side is you on? Okay? Here's the thing, and I'm not going to, it's not Trump or somebody else in the Republican side. No, 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 no. Just hear this out. Your own social media, you can't stand the liberals. You can't stand the Democrats. You can't stand the Republicans. You can't stand the progressives. You can't stand anything. It's got to be Trump. Okay. If it's not Trump, because you're like, that's a bad name. It's got to be someone that supports Trump but yet don't want to be involved with Trump. Okay, cool. Do you, boo. But then you're angry with social media. You're so angry with it. You talk trash on it. You make sure to say, hey, they drown us out. They don't allow this. They don't allow that. They kick us off. They don't want us. We're done with you, Twitter. We're done with you, Facebook, yada, yada, yada. And so then Trump does the one thing that you say because you say we got to band together. We got to unite. We have to form up and just own and defeat the liberals, defeat the progressives, defeat the, the, the Democrats. We have to defeat Biden, the squad and all of these people. That's what you say. So you got your place. You had it. It's there. Parlor. And maybe one other place where all of you can go band together, form up, make your plans on the libs and win. Right. But it's not enough. Because you go there and realize you're talking again amongst each other, agreeing with everything. And you learn something. You learn something. You don't want to win. You don't want to win. You don't want to change for your retro ways. You don't want that. You just want to argue. That's all it is. You just want to argue. You could easily just stay there, form up, get the candidates out there, have conversations with the candidates, do all this other stuff that other media isn't doing. You know, you get to actually hear them without some kind of, you know, spin from the left, which is very few people, to be honest with you. You just want to argue because you leave parlor, you're bored, you complain because it's just a circle jerk. It's just back and forth. I agree. So do I. So do I. I said this and I hate the libs. I agree. So do I. So do I. Well, this is boring. I want to go back to the places that we all hate because there we can argue and piss them off like little teenage trolls. Because that's what a troll does. They, the idea is to make somebody angry. To say something inflammatory to get someone to disagree so you can have a full-blown fight and argument and laugh about it. You don't want solutions. You want disruption. You want pain. You want arguments. You want fights. But you don't want to make the country great again. You just want to start a fight again. That's what it sounds like. That's what the evidence is pointing to. Now, here's the thing. People on the left, well, they ain't that stupid. They're not like you. No, they aren't going to find some, you know, echo chamber where they can argue into the wind and agree and agree. No, they want to go after you so they can feel relevant in this battle for nothing. They want to feel like they are doing the right thing in the name of getting nothing. They're not going to say they make an app or a place to go where they can, you know, just butter each other up and say nice things about each other and agree. No, they're going to be right here waiting for you to say something stupid so they can fight you and not get anything done. That is the point. 
And a lot of people are sick and tired of me going over stuff like this. But you know what? I get it. It's been a long road. Okay? And it's still being a long road. And you're tired of stuff like this. Because you don't like me throwing it in your face. You don't like me telling the truth. You don't like me calling you out. I'm predominantly going to try to stop that. I'm going to start something different. Things that's in my head that, you know, are positive, uplifting, motivational, push you forward to get things done. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm not looking for an echo chamber for someone to agree with me. I was looking for an echo chamber to get things done. Because I do want solutions. I do want people to be better, live better. You got one life. Why not live it without all the crap in it? Man, I lived my life. It was good. I went through all kinds of turmoil and crap. No. No. Be better. And that's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to start giving it to you. I am going to speak positive. I am going to be positive. And I'm hoping that you stick around and like it. Nothing's really going to change. I'm not rebranding and all that crap. No. This is a catch-all topic-based platform without restraint. So, by definition... I can be as menacing, I can be as joyful and jolly, I can be as direct or indirect as I need to be for what I want. But I'm not a selfish person. I'm also going to give you what you want. I've asked multiple times in the past, what do you want? How do you want it? What do you want it? Nobody responds. I get it. I get it. My numbers are low. My views are low. Nobody, I'm not getting new subscribers. I'm not getting new ears. Nothing. I don't blame the algorithm. No. I blame me because I was inflexible because I believed I was giving people what they needed. I thought I was giving people what they were begging and asking for for years, what they were seeking but not finding. But since I became exactly all of those things, People realize they, that's, they didn't want to hear that. They just wanted the idea of it. So I'm going to give people what they want. And I hope you enjoy it. I really do. Because you deserve positivity in your life. And I'm going to give it to you. I hope you do listen then. And if it is nice and you like it, please spread it. See you next time.